am Teresa Cyrus at Try Creation for You, where we explore, experiment, and execute effectively. Today, I want to ask you, have you ever needed to create another email address but was not sure if you should go under a shared mailbox or an alias account? This slide should help you with those determining factors. You should um, use a shared mailbox when you want multiple users managing an email account. Generally, this is good for a help desk where there are many team members watching the queue. And if you are a small business and it is your, just yourself, consider if you want to offload this responsibility to someone else when your business grows. Whereas an alias, account gives one user the capability to have multiple email addresses coming into their primary inbox. You don't have to navigate to a separate inbox um, to manage that email address. So let's look at some remaining differences. For both account types, no additional licenses are required and you can create up to 300 alias accounts. For shared account, the maximum mailbox size is 50 gigabytes of data. However, once you've reached that capacity limit, um, you must purchase a exchange plan license that has up to 100 gigabytes of storage. When it comes to sharing, you can give 25 um, internal employees full control, send as, or send on behalf of permissions. Now, next, here's the big difference between an alias account. You can receive and send messages with a shared mailbox. Um, an alias account only receives incoming messages. Shared accounts um, are not assigned to one individual as an owner of a mailbox. Um, as a result, a username and pass password are not given. So because of this, you are unable to send encrypt emails because a security key must be assigned to a person. And you are unable to sign in directly to a shared account. So each user must um, add the shared mailbox to the Outlook folders. Um, now, here are a few other things I want to point out about an alias account that I didn't cover. The mailbox size is part of your primary mailbox, so it all just depends on your plan that you have, um, as well as um, any alias emails that are assigned to you, you should strongly consider if you want to give other folks um, access to your accounts because it, it is your mailbox. Um, I hope this information helps. If you want more information about share mailbox and alias email accounts, Visit their, um, the website, um, Track Creation for E, um, The Vault. Um, in March 2022, under their archives, I have a detailed video on how to actually create a shared mailbox. And if you visit archives December 2021, I actually had a um, blog post and video series when it comes to alias and email accounts. <music> If you found this information helpful or you have any additional questions, leave me um, a comment um, below. Um, or if you're a little shy, feel free to send me a private uh, message. Um, also, give me some thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Have a good day.